بسم الله والحمد لله أحمده وصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد I have something exciting to share with you today inshallah you will find this kind of interesting and a food food for thought food for thought for sure and that is uh, one brother sent me an email that opened my eyes and gave me basira into something I didn't have an understanding of before and so there's no doubt that the sun has already risen from the west and even though this may be a false rising of the West, uh, but it is an indication of things to come. I'll give you an example. You know, coming events cast their shadows. This seems to be the, one of the sunnahs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'll give you an example. The Day of Judgment is going to occur and everything that will be recorded will be shown to you. We live in a world today where Allah is showing us that this can happen. Everything can be recorded. Okay, everything can be watched, everything can be recorded as a sign that this is coming. This is going to come to its ultimate conclusion in the same way. Rising of the sun from the west will go through different phases. And so there has already been one phase of the rising of the west has already happened. But before I talk about the rising of the west, we have to first turn to our Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And after we do that, I will share with you what one of the brothers has written and what the world newspaper has said about the rising of the sun from the west. Now, you might be saying, well, how did that happen? Well, let's uh, look at something first to keep this a little bit interesting from the very beginning. Okay. And uh, so let me share with you. There was a day that was skipped. And it was skipped because of the West and because the sun rose from the West. And this is the thing that we're living and And this is where I want to challenge myself and the brothers and sisters around me that maybe there are things happening around us that we're just not seeing. You see, there are things happening around us that we don't take note of. So now let us go back to what I was going to show you. Soma loses a day and jumps forward in time. What does that have to do with the rising of the West? I'm going to explain to you shortly. And then this was the Guardian newspaper. Uh, Soma sacrifices a day for its future. Uh, Soma in 2011 jumps forward in time. And Soma skip a day for dateline change. Okay. And uh, Soma skips from the last to the first country to see the sun okay so how did this happen how does a country skip from the last to the first country to see the sun first let's turn to what the prophet said sallallahu alaihi wasallam on this issue okay the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam tells us because we know the rising of the sun is amongst the signs of the hour and then during that time there will be a lot of hijrah and there will be different manifestations of the sun rising from the west. And I am saying, it seems to me, when you look at the history of what has just happened in 2011, the first manifestation of that has already occurred. I'm going to share with you an article a brother wrote, and uh, inshallah we'll take it from there. And so the Prophet Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا تنقطعوا الهجرة. Hijrah will never stop. Because there are only two phases. Either you have victory. If you have victory, then everybody makes goes to Dar al-Islam or the Khilafah. That's where you have to go. لا تنقطعوا الهجرة حتى تنقطعوا توبة. Hijrah will never end until توبة. Doesn't come to an end. Until the sun rises, and we usually translate this from the west. But it doesn't say that. It says min maghrabiha from its west. Let me later on in just a little bit compare this word for you. Hatta tatli ushams min maghrabiha versus what Quran says. Fa'ti, fa'ti bishamsi min maghrib. Bring the sun from the west. If it just said maghrib, it would mean until the rising of the sun. 
or sorry, the the yeah, the, the 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 rising of the sun from the west. Okay, but this is not what the prophet said from its west. So here's the thing: why is that interesting, and what does it have to do with time change? And we'll come to that. The prophet said, "Sallallahu alaihi wasallam, man taba qabla an tatlu shams." Whoever does toba before the sun's rising min maghrabiha from its west, taballaha alayhi. Allah will forgive that person. And then the Prophet says, لا تقوم الساعة The hour will not come. One day I want to gather just these ahadith that say, لا تقوم الساعة لا تقوم الساعة حتى لا تقوم الساعة حتى The hour will not come until and just gather all these sayings of the Prophet into one you can say book. لا تقوم الساعة حتى The hour will not come حتى تطلع الشمس من مغربها until the sun rises from its West, not from the west, from its west. فَإِذَا طَلَعَتْ And when what? When it, when, and when the people will, will when it rises from the west, what will happen? رَاهَ النَّاسِ رَآهَا النَّاسِ The people will see it, meaning the sun. آمَنُوا أَجْمَعِينَ And they will all believe, oh, now the Day of Judgment is coming, we have to believe. Now their iman will be complete, but that iman will not help them. ذَلِكَ هِنَا لَا تَنْفَعُوا نَفْسًا إِمَانًا And the Prophet read that verse of the Qur'an, that day where your iman, your belief, your belief in the Qur'an and the Prophet and Islam will not benefit you. Okay? The Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, مَنْ تَابَ قَبْلَ طَلُوءِ الشَّمْسِ Whoever did tawbah before, right, before the sun rises from its place, min in the in its place of rising in the west, Okay, its place of rising, Allah will forgive that person. May Allah make all of us who do tawbah before the sun rises from its west. But, like I said, and I want to repeat, coming events cast their shadows. And this seems to be the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah gives small punishments before big punishments. Allah gives you a small sign before the, a big event comes. Right? So in one sense, wake up. The sun has already risen from the west. The sun has already risen from the west. What happened is, they took the farthest country in the east, Soma, I think it's called. Maybe I don't even know how to say it properly. It's called Soma. They took the farthest country in the east, and they were very 20 miles off of the international date line that separates the east and the west. These arbitrary lines that we have, they had one arbitrary line of the where is the day and where is the night. But Soma wanted to shift this to its other side so that it can become part of the same day as to trade with Australia and New Zealand. And so they had to skip a day. And as you know, in Islam, our day changes at Maghrib. But in the West, the day changes at night. So they, if they skipped a day, they skipped the day where, and then after changing this arbitrary line so that this country in 2011 can have commerce with all these other Western countries like Australia and New Zealand, then what happened? That day, the sun rose from the west. Now let me explain in further detail. Okay, so this is the brother who wrote to me the article that I would like to share with you. He says, in Islam the first major sign of the Day of Judgment has already occurred. Muhammad Ramadan is his name, he's a convert, he converted about 17 years ago. He has a degree in comparative religion and Islamic eschatology. And mashallah, he has said something that is very, very interesting and worth consideration. And so I'm going to read to you this article. I'm sorry if it's a little bit boring, but it is really worth the wait. It is worth the wait. Okay, so let's do this quickly. So before I continue, I want to share with you this video, that, what this brother says about this issue, inshallah. Guess what will happen when that takes place? The sun will appear from the west. And the hadith related through the authority of Hudayf ibn al-Yaman 
from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about this is very clear. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said that when the hour approaches, two nights will join each other and the people will wake up from the first night to see that the night is not over yet. So this Hudayfa bin Yaman, when he mentioned two nights will become one, this is exactly what happened. And Juma was skipped in Soma. Okay? Because they skipped a day. And so now, when they skip a day, what happens? Yet. And they will be terrified. And they will be scared. And they will find that the sun did not come out. And another night came. And then two nights will appear in a row. So this is one of its signs. When the sun rises from the west, it'll be like two nights in a row. Okay? So now, keeping this in mind, let's read the article this brother has written. Uh, his name is Muhammad Ramadan. Please do dua for him. He converted to Islam about 17 years ago and has been studying the deen ever since. So, uh, he says in the article uh, about the rising of the sun from the west, he says the short answer is, in my opinion, may be. And this is the right answer because not all things fit with the ahadiths per se, but like I said, coming events cast their shadows. So in fact, I think two major end time signs have already occurred, he said. To find out how I came to the conclusion that the answer is long, but I invite you to read it and point out any flaws you have in mind. To those of you who decide to proceed, I think in advance, I thank you in advance for taking the time to read this answer and giving it your consideration. Major signs that may have occurred. Okay, One of the major signs that I think may have already occurred is often referred to in English as the rising of the sun from the west. This is how we usually translate it, but if you look at the hadith, as I've already pointed out, the Prophet said, Min Maghrabiha, from its west. Okay, and if you designate a certain place, now this is the time change, we're changing the date line, and now that the sun now is rising instead of what used to be part of east is now considered part of west because they changed it over so that country can have commerce with another country and will only be three hours behind that country. And so now the date line has changed. And so now uh, the timings have changed. So now what happens? One of the major signs that I think uh, I may have uh, that may have already occurred is often referred to as, in English as the rising of the sun from the west. And then he says, where will the sun rise from the west? To begin with, I will explain why I said major sign is referred to as the rising of the sun from the west because the phrase is also rendered into English to mean the rising of the sun from its place of setting. Okay. The reason I emphasize the two endings is because although the meaning of both is essentially the same in English, one of the translations is not quite accurate. Meaning, the hadith does not say, let me repeat this, the hadith does not say the rising of the sun from the west. The hadith says the rising of the sun from its west, min maghrabiha, from its west. The reason I've emphasized the different ending to make it bold is because although the meaning of both is the same, essentially the, in, the same in English, one of the translations is not quite accurate. As you will see, the distinction is sufficient. The most accurate translation, okay, طلوع الشمس من مغربها, okay, is from its west, okay, from its west, okay, and when you compare this, and let me show you where this comparison can be. In Ayah 258, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Did you not look at the one who argued with Ibrahim fi rabbihi regarding his Rabb? An atahullahu al-mulk, because Allah gave him dominion on earth, meaning Namrud. Allah gave him dominion on earth. إِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ He, Ibrahim, he said, Ibrahim, Rabbi الَّذِي يُحْيِي الْمَوْتِ Allah is the one who gives life to dead. And then you know what he did. He said, well, look, these people are going to die. I'm just going to give them life and let them go. 
قال أنا أحي وأميت. He said, look, I give life and I give death. I'm the one who has dominion here. قال إبراهيم إن إبراهيم إن الله يأتي بالشمس من المشرق. Allah brings the sun from the east. And Allah made this Ibrahim's words. So Allah brings the sun from the east is an absolute statement because it is a statement of Quran and nothing can contradict this. Some people would say. Some scholars would say. But anyhow, we continue. In Allah ya'ti bishamsi min al mashrik. Allah brings the sun from the east. Fa'ti biha min al maghrib. Bring it from the west if you're truthful. Fa bohit al ladhi uh, the people who reject the truth were confounded. They didn't know what to say. Allah does not guide a wrongdoing people. Now, if you notice here, Ibrahim said, Bring it from the West. From the West. It didn't say from its West. Now, compare this with the saying of the Prophet. Where the Prophet says, "Man taba qabla tulu is shams min maghrabiha from its west." Whoever does tawba before the rising of the sun from its setting, its west or its setting, or uh, from its setting place. Okay, so now let us now continue and understand what the brother has said. Okay, so he's saying there's a difference between minal. Maghrib from Min Maghrabiha. Those of you get that, that's great. But let's continue, inshallah. If you didn't get that, it's okay. You'll still understand. Okay. So now, the word Min means from. The suffix Ha at the end, Min Maghrabiha, is a subject pronoun, which means its. So when the sun rises from its west. Okay. And refers to the first part of the word Maghrib. So when we translate the word Maghrabi, meaning West, and the phrase will read the rising of the sun from its West, which doesn't make sense until you bring these international borders and these international date lines into place. So what happens? The trilateral root for the root word Maghrabi has several meanings, okay, including the meaning West, place of setting but the most fitting meaning in the context of the phrase is the latter so the best translation is the rising of the sun from its place of setting there has been much speculation as to how the sun will rise from the west okay how the sun will rise from its place of its setting based on narrations translated to mean rising of the sun from the west, including the possibility that the direction of the earth's rotation will be reversed or that the earth will do a polar flip. Sheikh Imran Hussein, may Allah bless him, says the rising of the sun from the west is the true sunrise. The rising of the sun from the east is the true sunrise. Meaning this is what Ibrahim said. Allah brings the sun from the east and it's an absolute statement because it's a statement of Quran ordained by Allah whereas the rise of the modern western civilization is a false sunrise that will ultimately lead to the emergence of Dajjal. He asserts the ahadith relating to the rising of the sun from the west contradict the Quran if taken literally so they must be interpreted metaphorically and therefore may be why the Prophet said min maghrabi ha not from the sun's rising of the sun from the west but rising of the sun from its west and one of its manifestations happened in 2011 as i will be sharing with you and i already shared with you but i'm going to share you more about that if that is indeed the case then it can also be argued that the sun has already risen from the place of its setting as follows through the passage of time by god's will mankind understanding how the world around us works has increased and the world has become smaller so to speak and the world the worlds of nations have, for the sake of achieving a harmonious global existence, agreed upon an arbitrary line on the earth to signify where each calendar date will commence. Meaning, this calendar line tells us which is east, which is west. Right? So if you shift this calendar line, the east and the west shift based upon the international date line. Okay. Agreed upon. So it extends that from the north to south over the globe, mainly over water, it is called the International Dateline Ideal. 
Okay. For 120 years that preceded Thursday, the 29th of December 2011, Soma was considered to be of the western most places on the face of the earth. It was considered to be in the westernmost. I think I said easternmost. It was considered in the westernmost places of the earth. It was the last place on earth where the sun would set for any day, day or date. Okay. At the stroke of midnight, however, on what would be start on Friday. So Juma was skipped. Friday, 30th of December, 2011, in Soma, the international date line was shifted to the east of the country. So now it was 20 miles out. Now they had shifted it to the east of the country. So now this place that where the sun was the most eastward now became the first of the westward. Okay. So at the stroke of midnight, however, on what would have been the start of Friday the 30th of December 2011 in Soma, the international date line was shifted to the east of the country and instantly became Saturday because it skipped a day. On 31st of December 2011, the international date line shift effectively made Soma one of the most eastern places in the earth. The place on earth where each calendar starts and begins so the next morning the sun rose from its setting place in order so when the date line shifted now where the sun the next day okay so the next morning the sun rose from its setting place because of the shift of the the skipping of the day and shifting of the line of the international date line in order to go from the first place on earth to see the sunset to being the the first to see it rise on friday the 30th of december 2011 the friday the 30th of december 2011 was erased to do this okay let us examine what happened during the 24 hour period commencing from the time that the sunset there on the world for Thursday 29th of December 11. The Christian majority of Soma was the start of the evening and night for Thursday, the 29th of December 2011, until the clock struck midnight. Now, you know, in the West, time changes, days change, when? In midnight. When, due to the shift of the international date line, it instantly became the start of Saturday. So it skipped Friday and became Saturday, the 31st of December. But for Muslims, the new dates commence at sunset. So when the sun set, meaning when it was Maghrib, okay, on, on Thursday, the 29th of December, then the Juma day began. But at midnight, right, it changed to Saturday, skipped a day, and now the date line was changed. So now when the sunrise happened, it was happening in the west instead of the east, which is what Soma used to be. For Muslims, it normally remains the same date throughout the whole night. But because of the change to the international date line, Muslims in effect experience two consecutive nights, which is what the Prophet Hudayfa bin Yaman says. There will be two consecutive nights. And there has been a shift of where the sun will rise from its place of its setting it will rise and so the uh, from its place of setting the sun will rise and so because of this change what happened muslims in effect experienced two consecutive nights during the same night without a day between them and moreover the rest of the jama the jum'ah was completely erased okay so now i ask you is it true that during the 24-hour period commencing from the time the sun set on the world for on Thursday, so this skipped Friday, right? So the sun set on the world for Thursday, 29th of December 2011, the Muslim and the non-Muslim inhabitants of Soma experienced three nights in one. Between them, Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Is it, okay, so is it true that this happened? Number two. Is it responsible to expect that the Muslims of Soma would have been angry, horrified, distressed, confused, fearful about a decision to delete the rest of Jummah? The part of the day 
when they would have normally performed, the obligatory communal Juma prayer was deleted as well as the prayers before and after it. What should Muslims do under such circumstances? Okay, please keep questions above in mind while you consider the following hadith. Abdullah bin uh, Abu Aw, uh, Awfa reported, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa say, Verily, a night equivalent to three of your nights will come upon people. When it comes, those who engage themselves in worship during the night will recognize it. A person will stand in prayer, read a section of the Qur'an, and then go to sleep. Thereafter, he will wake up, stand up, stand in prayer, and read a section of the Qur'an, and then go to sleep. While this condition remains, the people will begin to shout, scream, and call on one another. They will say, what is this? With fear, they will run to the mosque. To the surprise, they will see that the sun has risen from the place of its setting. When it reaches the middle of the sky, it will return to its place of setting. The Prophet said, "When that is when the becoming of a believer will no longer be of benefit. I'm sure most people agree that the answer to the first question is yes. But I wonder if you would agree to the following in in ans a following in in answer to the third question. When it states that Abdullah bin Abu Awfa that the people will stand in pr in prayer, read a section of the Quran and go to sleep, thereafter wake up and read a section of the Quran and go to sleep. Could that be how the Muslims might have should have dealt with their required play prayers given most of the Jummah was deleted? So this is the question the brother is asking. The key that that is that they have done their Maghrib and Isha prayers, then slept, then woke up before midnight when they officially be, when it officially became Saturday to do the rest of their prayers for the day of Juma and Maghrib and Isha prayers for Saturday and then slept and then woke up for dawn on Saturday. So basically it skipped all of Friday and then you start with Fajr and the date line was changed from east to the west. Okay, and the place that was the farthest of east became now part of the, uh, the, the farthest of west now became east. And so now the sun rises in its west. Okay. What else could they do? The event was initiated by man. Does it really matter? Meaning, this is an artificial thing. Does it really matter? So now that you, you may say that the event which occurred in Soma was man-made event, and that is true to the extent that it was man's intention to do it. But it can be rightly said that all power belongs to Allah and nothing can occur without His will. So, if this happened, it also happened by the will of Allah. What can We can also rightly say that it is clear from many of the revealed end time signs that they will relate to things man will do. Man becoming women, vice versa. Women appearing to be naked despite being dressed. Alcohol being considered halal, etc., etc. I could be wrong. But as far as I know, there's nothing to say that the event of rising of the sun from its place of setting occur uh, must occur literally and that it cannot be caused by man. The order in which the major signs will appear. So I'm going to leave it over here, but here's the considerations I want you to have. For example, for one, I want you to all do dua for this brother Muhammad Ramadan uh, that may Allah bless him for writing this article. So, number one is the issue that when the prophets of the sun will rise from the west, is it metaphorical or is it literal? Because the Quran says the sun rises from the west in the words of Ibrahim and that can never change. Or, that is, that it can, but it is an except because in the day of judgment, everything in the universe, as you know, everything with the mountains will move because Allah says, uh, that this, the mountains are firm. But then what will happen? They will be dissolved, right? So the, the, the phenomenon of the Day of Judgment changes as the Day of Judgment happens. And this is right, you can say, before. But the general rule is the sun rises from the east, and that is what Allah said. But the interesting point here is the saying of the Prophet, not that the sun will rise from the west, but the sun will rise from its west. What will that mean? Is that to be taken metaphorically? If it is to be taken metaphorically, then it kind of already happened. It didn't kind of already happen. It actually really happened. We really did change the east into the west by changing the, the, the international date line. And now the sun, what used to be east, is now already 
part of the West. So uh, the, the sun will, uh, you know, uh, rise from where it used to set. And that's what happened. The sun where the day changed, now that's where, that's where the day now begins. So I hope uh, this is food for thought. But I take this, at the very least, as two things. Number one, coming events cast their shadows. This is a sign that something big is going to happen, that the sun will rise from the west. And this is a sign of that. And number two, that this is the shaitan changing the takhliq of Allah, changing the creation of Allah, tampering with time. And this is the time where the fitans, and there might be more than, if you look at the ahadith, some of these where the Prophet talks about the rising of the West, and it will be for three consecutive nights, there may be more than one rising of the West mentioned in the hadith literature itself. One could be referring to this event, which is the hadith that we read last, and then one can be the physical phenomenon that we see, or will it be physical phenomenon? Probably because the hadith says when people see it, everyone will believe it, or whatever Allah allows at that time for it to be. But the wordings of the hadith are very interesting for anyone who knows the Arabic language. Allah doesn't say the sun will rise from the west. I mean, the Prophet did not say the sun will rise from the west. The Prophet said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the sun will rise from its west, its place of its, uh, from its maghrib, from its uh, place of its ghurub. The sun will rise from its place of setting. Okay, this is the most proper translation of that. I hope I didn't confuse you guys because of my dyslexia. I sometimes think things opposite. So I hope this was clear of what has already happened and that uh, the sun has, uh, in a sense, at least in the last hadith we read, has already, uh, that event does seem like it already happened. أقول قولي هذا أستغفر الله لي ولكم ولساء المسلمين والمسلمات السلام عليكم ورحمة الله